We've, uh, we've, all been, we've all seen mind reading acts and we've all scoffed at them as they claim to be psychic. Darren Brown is different. He doesn't pretend to be clairvoyant and he freely admits it's a trick. But how on earth does he do something like this? <laughs> all right, this is Incredible. Darren Brown. All right, that is extraordinary. Thank you. Extraordinary. But you hypnotised him, didn't you? No. Well, why are we doing like that in front of his face? Mm, there's no hypnosis on the show. What there is is a lot of suggestion and working with suggestion. It's kind of like hypnosis, but without the hypnosis, without the trance. It's just getting ideas into people's heads. And frankly, if you stick a camera in someone's face and, and a big boom microphone, it puts them in a very suggestible state, like when people come up on stage. Yeah, but the first quest time you said to him, where are you getting off at? And he said Warren Street or Good Street, I forget. Warren Street. Warren Street. And then you do a bit of business and you say, where are you getting off? And he says, no, how, how does that happen? What's the process? He's not going to tell us, is he? <laughs> no, but is it, is it a trick trick? No, it, well, it's, if someone comes up to you in the street mm. and says, it's not 20 to 4, mm. your reaction is not to go, yeah, I know, it's uh, mm. whatever. Your reaction is just to, uh, it's just to stare and be bewildered, and that's yes. a very, very suggestible state of mind that you go into. I All know. I'm doing is I'm inducing that, mm -hmm. and then by using a lot of linguistic tricks is getting them to forget He's got one. a very interesting face. He's got a very interesting face, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're, you, what does your show go on? It goes on, on uh, New Year's, New Day. New Year's, Day, on New Year's Day, the Come third on. one. Well, have you seen other clips? It's amazing. But you're going to do a trick now, OK? I've got a very regular, ordinary pound coin, and you say, right, that if I swap it into any hand and put my fist in front of you, mm -hmm. uh, you can always tell me which hand it's in. Let him, he's in control. Oh, you're in control. All right, go on, then you do it. Was, it was in that one. No, no, you take he it. I, I don't want to touch control. it. Okay. Okay. Is that right? <laughs> okay. uh, behind your back. Yep. Put it in either hand. Yep. And then just bring your hands out and try not to give away which hand it's in. All right? Mm -hmm. to try not to give it away. But you will do something to give it away. You'll do some little thing that will tell me which hand it's in. It's in this one, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. How? Now, what, what? Can you do that again? hang on, 50, 50, 50. 50 quid says I can get this five times in a row. Hang on, I've got a tenner, I think. I can only bet a tenner. Sorry. Well, you, <laughs> it's my kind of bet, actually. You put down a tenner, I'll put down 50. All right, you're on. All right. And I should absolutely say this doesn't always work. No. I may genuinely get this wrong. I don't care if I lose the 50 quid because this is a real rush no. for me just trying this. I don't care this. if you lose right. it either. All right. <laughs> now, this, the second time tells me if you're a challenger or a responder. Hmm. All right. In that a challenger keeps it in the same hand to try and catch me out, a responder puts it in the other one because he picks up on the 50-50 thing. I think you're smart enough to change and put it in that one this time, so there you go. So that's two. Okay. Uh -huh. Guys, just to show you, there's, there's nothing in the other hand. All right, third time. What about that? <laughs> Can we do it one more time? <laughs> we'll do it. No, he's double, two more times? One more time. time. One more time. Okay, one double more quits, time. Right? One double quits. Double quits. I got right. to 50. I haven't got it, but I've got to 50, right? <laughs> All right. Well, Everything, on the table. <laughs> Everything on the table. Everything on the table. Challenger, responder. Challenger, responder. Now, maybe there's no such thing as a challenger or a responder. Maybe now I've just put it... It's a bit of pride now. It's a pride now yeah, in being a, a challenger, thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. There's a certain amount of... As if you're somehow sort of chickening out if you put it in the other one. Mm. I will ask you to do one movement, and that will tell me which hand it's okay. in. Cross your hands over, put one on top of the other. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, people put the guilty one at the bottom. Don't open your hand. Don't open no, your no, hand. No, let, no. Me just, let me just tell you. Normally, people put the guilty one at the bottom. You won't. You'll put the guilty one at the top. Don't open it, but it's the top one, isn't it? It is, yeah. All right, don't I, open it. Let me, let me just one more thing, one more thing. Keep, 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 keep it closed for a second. Yeah. Here's the weird thing. You know whether it's heads or tails at the moment. You know whether it's heads or tails up. You do. You don't know how you know, but you know. And you know because there's a thousand nerve endings in your, in your hand and in the palm of your hand and your fingertips telling you what it is. Don't try and feel for it. They won't do you any good. Just look me in the eyes. Is it heads or is it tails? I don't know. Is it heads or is it tails? Or heads. It heads, have a look, you're right. It's... <laughs> Come on. Um, I think I've just lost a lot of money. You know when you asked... How did you do it? Go on, go on. You know when you asked him to put one hand under the other, mm -hmm. I, there was a very definite hesitation oh, there absolutely. while you were while you were deciding what to do. Because you would have naturally wanted to put and it that, underneath. And it's exactly. All known, and he went, yeah, yeah, that yeah, way. I got that. Mr. Clever Clock. Yeah. Well. Judith's turn now. You want to try something? All right. Well, yeah. the, the yeah. classic test for ESP done in the 1930s at Duke University in the States. All right. Mm -hmm. You had five different symbols to think of: circle, square, star, cross, wavy lines. I'll show you them. And you had to transmit the shapes that you were thinking of to the person on the other side of the screen. Now, there's no screen here, so you'll just have to think of it. We've got a circle. Uh, a square. These are the original cards that we use. A star, a cross, and wavy lines. Just let the camera pick them up. Come on. Oh. Come on, there. Okay. Right. okay. So what do you want me to do? Just think of you one. Think of one. Don't give it away by staring too much at no. anyone, but just think of any one of them. Right. I've got the same set here. And do I look at you? You look at me, you think of the shape, and you try and transmit that shape to me. Do you believe in any kind of psychic ability? Honestly. To some extent. To some extent. I don't, and this isn't psychic. You will tell me what it is. The more you try not to, the more you will. <laughs> Are you a good poker player? No. Are you a good liar? No. It's one of these two. 
Again, I may get it wrong. If I get it wrong, I learn your. S mm. Didn't go for the star, did you? I did. You did. And why did you go? And why? Why, why did you go for the star? Probably because it's Christmas. All right, one in five. We'll do it again. Can you, without even looking, can you think of another one? Yeah. Got it. Look at me. Just think of the shape. Don't change your mind now. Stick with that shape. Oh, is it the wavy lines? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can we do it again? I've never even met this guy before. Do you want to do it again? Last night, uh, yeah, one more. One more time. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you, have you got one? Mm -hmm. We'll build up the suspense, all right? I'll go for that. Take out the one you were thinking of, put it face down on the table opposite mine. I won't change mine, it's down. Even if I catch a glimpse on the monitors, I'm I won't them, change right? it, it's down. I want to do a few in a row with you. All right, no, put, no. put, it, put it down there now, opposite oh, sorry. mine. So I'm just going to do a few in a row with Don't you now, all right? So let me see. Think of another, we'll do a few in a row. Can you think of one? Mm. You got one? Look at me. Got it. Face down on top of yours. We're gonna make two piles. I'll always put my one down first, all right? Fantastic. You didn't change your mind on the last one, did you? No. Circle. <laughs> and that was a square. Oh! Yeah. Sorry, we've got, we've got to go. We're here Just online. Are you coming back? You're coming back for a bit you're later. Coming back. A bit I'd love later to. On tonight. Absolutely. You're going to do something to. with Matthew Medine. I'd love to. I'd love to try something with you. And you're going to read my mind. I'd love you're, going to. To. you're going to tell me what I'm thinking about at the end of the show. Absolutely, if you're up for it. Yeah. I'm very up for it. Are we okay. up for it? Yeah. yeah. We, the whole show. Oh, yeah. Just do the whole show with this guy. Do <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the, the night back in the 70s when I saw Uri Geller for the very first time on television and you thought, mm. this bloke is going to be massive. You're massive. Thank you very much. Okay. See you in a few minutes, all right? How's what? The, mm, what was he doing there? Was he looking at your know. eyes or your pupils? If, or? I, if I'd done the thing totally with cards, I would have said this, the cards must be marked in some way. But you were um, doing it in your head? But the first three or whatever, I did purely by thinking about them. Wow. Extraordinary. Hot very stuff. odd. We'll take a very short break. When we come back, we'll be talking to the incredibly gorgeous Matthew Medine. We'll Steady see on, you in one Finnegan. minute. <laughs> All right, we absolutely will. But anyway, we've got, you, we want to move... You, you're watching you're our watching mind our magic reading, Gar. Yeah. You've got a trick, Come on. haven't you? I do have a oh, trick, go on. Yeah. No, just before... They, All right, go on. Come on, Dan, you watch this trick. Come on, I'd love to. Ma Matthew is very, Hello. very, very proud of this. Very right. good to see you, Dan. Good to see you. Well done Part of the deal for this interview that he was allowed to do this trick. <laughs> um, go on. Okay. I have to say that... that uh, now, I should have had you give me these matches, but these well, are just, we just, they're just ordinary matches, but I'll show you the matches. One of the most beautiful things that happened during that... Uh, Post September 11th thing was when uh, your government, your queen, your people, they chose to play the national anthem at the changing of the guard. That's right, yeah. It brought me to my knees. I mean, it, it yeah. floored me. Yeah, it was one right. of the most beautiful yeah. things I'd ever seen. So here we are. Two ordinary stick matches, yeah? So uh, what I would do is get better, is just pass, pass one between the other. Uh, huh? so, you see? Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah. That was excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Very good. That was very good. It's pretty, pretty good. I was about it? to say, this better get good, and it did. <laughs> it All right. Do yours as quick as you can. Though. All right, Matthew. It's an envelope for you. You're not going to try to up me, are you? Uh, okay. I wouldn't dream of it. It's got look, my name on it. It's got Matthew on it. There's something in there. Yes, there is sir. something sealed in that envelope. And mm. for the record, I have not shown you what's inside this envelope. You do not know what's inside that envelope, do you? No, I do not. You don't. Okay, hang on to that. Yes. It's a drawing of something. As you look at me, I'm actually going to be telling you at a level that you won't pick up consciously what's in that. So you look at me and take your time and start to form the image now. All right? It's a drawing. It's in black ink. I've done it in marker. And it's something fairly simple. Not as simple as like a circle, but not as complicated as a complicated landscape. Mm. Look at me. You're getting a picture? Mm -hmm. Can you see something in your mind? Can you start to form that? Well, I don't want to tell you what I see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> Have you got something? Yes, I do. All right, is it a shape, is it an abstract shape, or is it a, uh, is a, figure, it, is, is a, it a thing? It's a figure, it's a thing. Will you draw it for me? Yeah, sure. I won't judge you on your artistic skills. No okay. better than mine. Oh, nice pen. Thank you very much. Very nice. Most of them mine. Do my script. I can draw. Yeah. OK, thank you. There we are. To do it quickly, right? Get my pen's ink in a bit. And if this is wrong, this is nowhere near what's inside, then... All right. It doesn't matter. Right. How do we draw this now? Oops. What is he drawing? Oh, it looks like him. Um, oh, it's it's a heffalump. It's yeah, an elephant. A heffalump. Yeah. yeah. Nelly the elephant. There you go. Just show it to the viewers. Yeah. Okay. How's Here we that? Go, Which one? Go on. Right. That. Oh yeah. It's an elephant. elephant. Go on. All right. So, what next? Right. so as you were doing that, what what made an elephant come to mind? Uh, what, well, what was I was the... looking at you, and you reminded me of an elephant. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a favour. Open up. Open up the envelope. All right. Oh yeah. It's not exactly the same, but it's. Uh, 
It's not exactly the same. You haven't seen this before. Have you had no idea what was in that envelope? No, I've just just uh, met you. Oh! Go on, hold it up. That is hold it. Up. It's a better drying than mine. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hi. Hold it on. Hey, Excuse me. Can we have can we have a wooden stake? Uh, some <laughs> petroleum and some rope. Because <laughs> we are burning you at the end of the show. Fantastic. You're dangerous. More, for, more from Darren later on in the show. Um, we've got to take a break. <laughs> Still to come. Now, we've all been trying to figure out how mind reader Darren Brown does it. It's got to be a trick. It is a trick. He says it's a kind of trick, but he really does seem to be able to control people's minds. He's going to have a go at one of us in just a second. Him, actually. Uh, but first, here he is, just down at the local shops. Details of our special offers can be found handily by the lifts. So why not come right arm up and see for yourself? These offers will only be available for a short period of time. So all customers wishing to reach up and grab this exciting opportunity should do it now. That's nice, mm. amazing. Mass sort of... Hypnosis, or not mm. hypnosis, but suggestion. Go on, then what are you going to do to well, yeah, Richard? Because it's it? not me. Oh, right. I lost the I'd like to do something more personal with you if you're up for that. If you're happy Ooh. with it. If Judy's happy. <coughs> Game Boy. You can intervene at any point and stop it. All right. <laughs> All right. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to think for me of a memory from uh, childhood or when you were young, or something that nobody could know about, nothing you've been talking about, nothing I could have asked anybody. A specific anybody. childhood memory. A specific childhood memory. An incident of some kind. An incident, yeah, not just a view out of a window, no, but no, a specific no, no. thing maybe that happened. Oh, or give me a sec, give me a sec, yeah. Okay. Okay, I've got one. You've got one. I've got one, yeah. All right. Nothing filthy, is it? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he demons. values his job. No. <laughs> right. Visualise this thing for me. I need you to, to, to really see it in your mind and, and be there. And in the short time we've got, I'll try and get as close as I can to what okay. it is. All right. So here's what you do. Picture it as if you were inside the memory looking out. Does that make sense? I've got it, so yeah. don't yeah. see yourself in it, but see no, yourself no, no, looking no, out. I'm and looking see everything out through my you. childhood eyes. Right. All right. Make, if there's movement, make it move like a film around you on a big panoramic screen. Make the colour brighter. And more vivid, be right. Right, you stand up for me. Yep. Stand up for me. Right, look at me. Right, now the first thing is, now, sometimes I do this with people, it's something pleasant like a holiday, don't give anything away, keep an absolute poker face. So sometimes it's something a little more uh, unpleasant like an accident. Oh, there you go. So it's an accident, it's something that happened that went wrong. Maybe you hurt yourself. Uh, am I close? Mm. Yeah, all right, absolute poker face. Don't say anything out loud, just think yes or no as I do it. All right, age wise, I'd say a lot of people go back to when they're very, very young. With you, this is a bit old, maybe six, seven, something like that, maybe seven or eight. That kind of, that, yeah, not, not tiny baby and not, no, 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 not sort no, of teenagers. No, no, no. All right, OK. Now, this is you, and it's, it's outside, and there's other people around. Is that right? There's a couple of good friends around mm -hmm. as well. All right, two good friends, and they're, mm -hmm. both, they're both male. And you're outside. This is, this is near your house, but not in the garden, but it's kind of nearish where you live. Is that right? So that's, a couple of minutes correct, away. Yeah. All right. And there, there is movement, and you are... This is something you're playing with. There's a group of people like you're playing with a bunch of friends, and something happens. Something happens, and you hurt yourself. Is that right? It's, you, absolutely it's like you trip, or you something, or you crash into something. You crash into. Thank you. You crash into something. So you're. Uh, I don't think you're in a car because this is very outside. This is not. In, this is not enclosed. This is. Um, your. You on a. You on a bike. Are you, on, a are you on a bike? Did you fall off a bike? I did. Are you six or seven years old, whatever? Eight, you fall eight, off a bike and yeah. you're with kids your own age. Yeah, I, don't know, I, I don't know if it's a school class or... Who are you with? I'm with the Cubs. You're with the Cubs? At my school. And, and, I, off, and yeah. I crashed... My, it was my first day on my first ever bike. I'd learnt to ride it that afternoon and I crashed it into the school wall. And all my friends were around me. And wow. do you know, do you know, How about that? <laughs> Thank you. Do you, know, do you know something? I mean, this is not a con, and I this even not, I, I, to even you, this I didn't know what he was going to think. We didn't discuss it. Even I didn't. And you know hadn't told anybody about it. I hadn't told. I hadn't, hadn't spoken about that for years not even and years. Me. That's why I selected. I try to get something vivid, but that would bore people. Right. You know, who cares right. that Richard fell off his bike when he's a cub? That was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. Darren, can you, you're a genius. Darren, can you come back next week and do it again? I'd love to. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, have him back next week. If you can make it, we'll sort it out. Thank you. OK, and don't forget his show. It's on uh, New Year's Day on Channel 4. That's it for today. Dirdler Kerwin and Marty Pello are here tomorrow. I've got nothing to say, really. Um, it's our sledge homemade race. sledge race, live from a real snow slope and hosted by Stuart Hall. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your calls. And we'll catch tomorrow. you uh, tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.